Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning, we want to bring to the forefront a very disturbing incident that involved a young man, a graduate of St. George's College, who was killed after he advertised selling a phone online. Now, according to the Jamaica Gleaner, gunman posing as potential buyers of an iPhone 11 Pro was shot, shot and killed 17 year old owner of the phone just three days shy of his 18th birthday and has plunged his family into mourning. The incident occurred along Grove Terrace in St. Andrew at about 12.50 p.m. The deceased, a St. George's College graduate of 2020, DeMarco Levy, would have celebrated his 18th birthday today. He was the it is theorized that he was killed at a drop, drop off site. Now, based on what we know, there are several social media outlets right now, persons use to advertise, sell. There are various ways they use social media to make money. This is just one way. He advertised his phone and the purchaser would meet up somewhere and they would exchange the item for the money. Now, anything in Jamaica that involves money moving from one hand to the other is a recipe for disaster. This young man, based on what his grandmother was saying, was always business-minded and due to the fact that COVID was rampant, he wanted to find something to do with his time. And being business-minded and wanted to do something with his time, he decided to sell gadgets on social media his family disapprove of it however you know youngsters these days they tend to know it all they tend to want to try something even though at the end of the day you could always look at it if it worked out for him it could be the start of something big but when things like this happen you will always look back and say what if no he also wanted to use the sale of the phone, which is value over 100,000 Jamaican dollars, to use that money to assist his family as they have just gotten notice from their landlord. So they were in the process of moving and he told his grandmother that after he sells the phone, he would use the money and assist in the family moving. However, it is so sad that he and his cousin turned up at the drop-off site and the persons who said they were, go they were going to be the legitimate buyers of, of the phone end up to be some hoodlum, some crazy, evil gunmen who shot this 17-year-old in his chest once, took the phone and no money was passed on. His cousin had to run for dear life because the other gunman told the other one to shoot him. Now, the Marco Levy, his grandmother, is distraught based on the fact that when he was leaving to go, she asked him to purchase something for him, for her. She's still waiting because these woodlums decided that the Marco Levy should not be an entrepreneur should not find anything positive to do with his life. But the other thing that is concerning is that during the article while I was reading, it was saying that they always warn him about friends. I don't know if he was always this friendly type of person mixed up with a lot of friends. I don't know. I'm just saying. But at this point, he was killed based on the fact that he was selling a phone. Or is it they just use that to take this young man's life? We don't know. We hope the police will come across these killers and they'll be brought to justice. Because when you have young persons trying to make honest living and they are cut down like this, it's just, it's just a sad story and it shows us what our good Jamaica has come to. However, 
one should always note, and the police has said this in this article, you can go on the Jamaica Gleaners website and read it. Whenever you're doing transaction that involves money for passing from one person to the other, find the nearest police station to get the transaction done. Because you're at the gunsman's ransom or mercy when you just meet up willy-nilly at any corner shop or any way on the street to exchange item for money. They could take the item, give you the money, and wait until you reach a certain part, they stick you up and take the money. And most times when they stick you up and take the money, they end up taking your life. Just like what happened to the Marco Levy. It's just a sad story. And it seems as if, if it's not one thing, it's the other. If you start a business tomorrow, you're extorted. If you don't want to pay extortion, you'll be killed. What else can we do to survive what else can we do without being targeted by these criminals? Let me know what you think in the comment section. We hope the family of DeMarco Levy will be comforted at this time. It's a sad story. We say rest in peace, DeMarco. And while we say rest in peace to DeMarco, we hope the killers of DeMarco will never sleep peacefully. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, look out for the children, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.